guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey my name is Yasmin I do fashion beauty lifestyle content and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe down below and join the fam so in today's video I will be showing you guys this makeup tutorial it's a blue winged liner I know I don't wear that much color because I don't know I'm a very I enjoy my neutrals okay I feel like neutrals look the best on me but sometimes I like to dive into like my creative side and try something different so I decided to give this a blue winged liner a try and I used a bunch of new products in this video I will list down all the products that I used down below and where to find them if I get them locally in the description box down below so without much further ado let's just dive straight into the video so like I mentioned in this video we are gonna be doing a trying out new makeup so we're gonna start with the eyes and I have three eyeshadow palettes here that I received in PR a couple of weeks ago some was months this was back in february this was like at least two or like a couple of weeks ago so we're gonna start with the oldest one which is by revolution makeup it's this was part of um bandari beauty's um february beauty box which i think i mentioned in a vlog or i showed you guys like in a vlog but this is what the palette looks like it's a precious stone rubies palette it just has like a lot of beautiful like gem tones the second palette is by canvas cosmetics it's the glambition palette which is so beautiful this is what it looks like it has like a lot of really really nice shades especially like that blue shade and the third one was from 25th time which i also showed in my previous vlog this is part of the pr package that i received from her i'm gonna open it and it's the maybelline um lemonade craze eyeshadow palette it's so beautiful it's like mostly neutrals i feel like these are the colors i usually gravitate towards those are the three palettes that we're going to use so i'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit closer so we can come up all up in my business so, yeah. so we're going to start off with concealing my eyes i haven't used this concealer in such a long time and i really want to use it this is my mac um pot concealer in the shade nc the studio fix pot concealer yeah studio finish pot concealer in nc45 this is probably one of the best consistency concealers ever like it's so creamy and the coverage is amazing so the concealer is on we just have to set it and i'm going in with the glambition palette in this shade it's called canvas it's like a very bone colored shade which is good for like setting it kind of like looks like setting powder so that's what we're going to use to set we have done that we are now going to go into this the ruby eyeshadow palette i'm going to go in with the shade be mine this one i really like it's like a very peachy shade and we're going to put that all over our the look that I want to go for today is kind of different. I want to do like a different look than I usually do. More like editorial, less like glam. If that makes sense. I'm trying to get more like creative with my makeup. The Maybelline Crease. I'm just trying to use like all the eyeshadow palettes just to get a good use. And then we're going to go in with the shade um, Coral Punch, which is that one, like the corally shade. The blue in this palette is so beautiful. It's called Tanzanite. And I want to do like a blue eyeliner. Like I said, it's a look that I saw Shad Patel wearing. I'm going to insert it here and I really want to try and mimic that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use concealer to create like a wing on my eyelid so that the blue eyeshadow can go on perfectly. Because if I just put it on, right now on my eyes it's just like gonna fall off and it's not gonna stick the way i want it to so my concealer i'm gonna use is this one from color pop and i'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand like so and just start drawing a wing i don't usually wear wing eyeliner because i know how hard it is and doing this with one hand is even harder so i think i'm gonna do this part off camera and then I'll i don't know if you guys can see but i did it it's done so what we're gonna do now is put on the eyeshadow tanzanite the brushes that i'm using by there from darasol so that's what the brush looks like it's a very nice thin pencil brush and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tap on the blue All 
All right, we have done the eyeshadow part. Well, the blue liner. I'm just gonna clean up my face because this blue shadow has a lot of fallout, which is not an issue for me as long as I'm getting like the pigment that I'm looking for. All right, now on to my holy grail products is the strobe cream by mac i don't even use that much but honestly there's something about this do you guys see that glow wow there's something about the strobe cream and the glow that it leaves that is so stunning it's like very subtle but my skin just looks very hydrated and well taken care of if that makes sense. all right the foundation that we are gonna use today actually before we go on to foundation we're just gonna put on some liquid glow we're gonna do some liquid glow and the one that i always use is the one from cover fx use this because the glow is intense and the foundation i'm using is very matte so i'm trying to like counter that so what i where i put this glow is usually like on the high points of my face This is gonna go smoothly under my foundation. The foundation that I will be using today is by Maybelline and it's the Super Stay Full Coverage, 24 hour full coverage foundation. I'm in the shade 60 Caramel. This is what it looks like. I never tried this foundation. I tried the Fit Me, the matte one, matte and poreless, I think. Yeah, matte and poreless and I didn't like it. But Grace from the Century Type was kind enough to send me this one and I wore it once and I actually wore it twice. One, once for a video and then the second time I wore it like just on my day-to-day -day life and I really like the finish so we're gonna use this today I'm gonna use a, a foundation brush first this is from Dara Soul, like the angled um, kabuki brush it's like an amazing match by the way I did go in to get face matched when I usually like pump the foundation on my brush I tend to know like the amount that I use which is way less than what I would usually use like both sides took like half a pump to be honest so so now that that is done my face is kind of looking nice I don't put foundation under my eyes just so that I don't pack on a lot of product so the concealer that I'm going to use is from Colourpop this is their pretty fresh concealer in the shade medium dark 145 W that is done we're gonna go in with a more brighter concealer this is the color pop one medium dark 36 w the other one is like the hydrating one this is their full coverage matte we're gonna set my face i'm using the laura mercier setting powder this is probably the best setting powder that i've ever used in my life i've tried a bunch and nothing comes close to this one we are gonna do some mascara on my lashes first. So up next we're gonna bronze my face. I don't usually do contour, so what we're gonna do is my Fenty Sunstalker bronzer in the shade Coco Nari. Just warm up my I usually have that dip in my face. I don't know where it came from, but something I realized the other day. I just forgot how hard it was to do like makeup with a hijab on. It's so much work. For blush, we're gonna do something very corally as usual. So we're gonna mix my sleek blushes. This is in the shade Coral and this is in the shade Sahara. These blushes are like my go-to blushes. I feel like if I they ended, I'll probably re-up and get new ones. Although I'm nowhere near done. We are going to do my lower lash line and we're just going to go back in with the shade Be Mine. I'm going to do setting spray, Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, one of my favorite setting sprays. I like doing like different layers of setting sprays to give me different looks. That one is to lock in everything. Then I use the Max Fix Plus to give me a really nice glow. So while this sets, 
and does its thing i'm gonna do my bottom lash mascara i'm using the revlon one all-in-one mascara i like it because the brush is very thin So as we wait for my lashes to dry, we're gonna go straight into highlight. Already my skin does have a little bit of glow, so we're just gonna top that off. I haven't tried any new highlighters at all because I feel like I have so many palettes that I need to finish up. So I do have a couple of favorites that I wear all the time, so I'm just trying to finish those up. One that I've recently rediscovered and been loving the mineralized skin finish from mac in the shade soft and gentle the first time i ever saw this highlight was from near near Brun. i don't know if you guys know her from instagram but she's the first person i ever saw this highlight on and it looked so beautiful so i decided to get it i'm sorry no it was happy better silver then i saw it on near Brun. do you guys see it's like the most beautiful like refined i like putting highlight on here so that when i smile like when i'm a picture is taken from me like face front it appears on my photos i don't know because i'm like i didn't apply all this highlight for no reason only for me not to see it in my pictures i'm gonna go put on my eyelashes on real quick and then i'll be right back i do have my lashes on this one's lifting and i don't know why it's bugging to be honest so i fixed that little bit lash issue but i, I just lip lined my lips with a brown lip liner and then i went over my lips with this nude lipstick from dose of colors is there like cream satin and matte lipsticks in the shade toast it's like a nude colored lipstick and that's what it looks like so what i did is i just dabbed it on like so and then dabbed it down with my finger just to give me that like blurred airbrushed look effortless you know what i mean i don't know if you guys can really tell the difference but to me there is a large difference so yeah that is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little tutorial i haven't done a tutorial on my channel in a while and now that i have nothing else to do i might as well just like you know roll them out but i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys I wanna drown myself inside